gentlemen, Jack Gallagher is on the big stage. The following contest is an eight-man battle royal making his way to the ring from Manchester, England. Jack Gallagher is where he belongs with the eyes of the WWE Universe all on him. Nevada, weighing in at 260 pounds. Here we go, and it sounds to me like the crowd is more than ready for this one. So am I, Michael. I've been looking forward to this match for a long, long time. And guys, you have to respect how much pride he has in what he does. I don't know, Michael. I understand the importance of having pride in what you do, but sometimes I think he can be a bit overbearing. I don't know if he means to be, but that's definitely how he comes across at times.
from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. Well, if you ask the Bruiserweight, this is where Dunne has belonged all along, in the bright lights on the big stage with a big opportunity ahead. and as dangerous as they come. He done enjoys winning as much as he enjoys inflicting pain upon his opponents. You don't have to like Pete Dunne, but he will demand that you remember his name. The secret is out. And from Melbourne, Australia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Buddy Murphy! I can respect the major strides that Buddy Murphy has made lately, but even with all his success, he seems so bitter. Saxton, when you're left out of the conversation for as long as Murphy was, the wound will never heal. It's already brought him title glory, headlines in his home country, and a prime spot on the main roster. Deny the secret, and you'll only make it stronger. You want to talk about a guy that's grabbed the brass ring? You talk about Buddy Murphy. He was lost in the weeds of NXT after losing the tag titles, made a drastic weight cut to jump to 205 Live, and from there, won the Cruiserweight title in his home country of Australia. I'm in the top Somebody bring me some sunglasses. 100%. I can't see. I thought you were talking about the future because where EC3 is concerned, the future is bright. Nothing away from EC3. I mean, think about what he made this return. Wait a minute, Byron. You shouldn't even be talking about this guy. You know nothing about being anywhere near the top 1%. Let the great Graves tell us all about EC3. That's not very nice. Truth hurts, Saxton. And the truth is, EC3 is at the top of the game. to return to WWE after a rough time his first tenure here. Says he's back now to take over the world.
and their opponent from Lyle, Florida, weighing in at 270 pounds, Titus O'Neill. Notice Titus walks to the ring these days. He learned his lesson at the Greatest Royal Rumble. Yeah, when he tripped and uh, slid <laughs> head first under the ring. Hey, at least he got a t-shirt out of it. Very successful entrepreneur, active in the community. The superstars are ready, and so are we. Here we go. Ricky the Dragon Steven has defeated opponents of all shapes and sizes while holding several singles and tag team championship. And lightning speed, the martial arts expertise, and the fire to go well beyond the limit. The Dragon has it all, Saxton. No quarter being given by either competitor. You have to believe this was going to be decided by the smallest of margins. Back between the ropes. Man. Nice 
job by Samoa Joe. Down to the floor. Huge elimination right there. Three has been eliminated. Simply said, this is going to be a great match. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Buddy Murphy has been eliminated. Joe's got him up. Spiked with a Death Valley driver. Looks like Samoa Joe is taking the upper hand. This could be his moment. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. Uh-oh, part one. Gonna be looking for the trifecta. There's two. Still holding on. There it is. The Camaro Plex is complete. Everybody likes a showman, but I think Samoa Joe might be taking it a little too far here. position to be in right now. Death Valley driver! Narrowly avoiding trouble. Yeah, that could have been bad.